In this lesson, we'll start to set up our application by adding our main feed reader component and a feed list component. But first, to get started, I'm going to add Tailwind to the application. Tailwind is a utility for our CSS framework that, once you get the hang of, lets you rapidly put out a decent looking project. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but for our purposes, it's pretty great. So feel free to use whatever you want for styling. It's by no means prescriptive. So I'll copy this line here and paste it into the index.html file in the public folder. Next, we'll clean up our app.view file and by just removing everything that we don't need. So in this case, it's most of it. And we don't need the styles either. So let's get to putting something on the screen. So next we'll create a new folder in components called feed reader. And in here we're going to add index.view. This file will pull together all the different parts of our application and serve as the main hub from where the data will flow. So I'll just close this sidebar. For now, I'll just add a header. Next, we're going to display this in our app.view. So we'll import it. And then we'll set it in the components property here. Great. So next we're going to create feedlist.view, which will eventually display the list of our feeds. So inside the feed reader folder, I'll create feed list dot view. And for now, we'll just add another header and save. Next, we need to import that feed list dot view back into our index dot view. So we will import it up here. and then we'll display it. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at setting up the article list component, which will be a little bit similar to this.